Okay, well, I think the best way to do something is to actually turn the camera on and, and get going. So I wanted to share an idea, something that I've thought about for a couple of decades. Uh, in fact, uh, I once registered a domain called uh, Street Talkers. And my idea then was to take a camera out to one of our busy streets when people were, you know, having dinner or just milling about and talk to people. And we would just interview and sort of get to know them, ask them about their lives, where they're from, what's going on with their family, what's going on with their work, what are they passionate about, what can they teach us, what languages do they speak, where have they traveled around the world, what's their best vacation. Like everywhere that I go, I run into people that have amazing stories and it doesn't really matter if I'm sitting next to them on a trip or maybe at the bank or in line somewhere. And so just in general throughout my whole life, I've just had lots of great conversations with people. And uh, a couple of you I've talked to this week know that I uh, at work was lucky enough to... Um, get into this um, book by Adam Savage, right? Uh, Every Tool is a Hammer. And I sort of was impressed by some of the things that I read and it really got me thinking. So his whole thing is about making stuff and then encouraging other people like me to make stuff. But it's not just tools in a factory to make costumes or parts or cars or you know, making something doesn't necessarily have to be physical, can also be digital. And uh, he, he wrote the opener, or in the introduction of this book, he wrote something that really has resonated with me. I've actually gone back and read it several times. And as silly as this may sound, I'm going to share it with you. So let me just turn that on and... I want to just read this quick paragraph. This book is my attempt to share my explorations with you. It is a chronicle of my life and the lessons I've learned along the way, and it is also a permission slip. The permission slip is from me to you. It says that you have the permission to grab hold of the things that you're interested in, the things that fascinate you, and to dive deeper into them to see where they lead you. You might not need that permission. If that's the case, good for you. Go forth and do awesome things. But I have needed that permission many times in my life. And whenever I found it, it helped me uncover secrets about myself and about the world I live in. It made me a better man as a maker and as a human being. We are built to collaborate. Humans are explorers and social creatures. We are driven to share our stories. Our stories are what make us so unique on this planet. I mean, ostensibly unique. There may be great speculative, speculative fiction being promulgated among the octopus and cuttlefish communities or delightfully wry oral histories being shared between orca or gray wolves. But until we can decipher them as humans alone, we expand our understanding of the universe by swapping stories about what we see and have seen. Making is one of the principal ways we share and have always shared our stories. And so I read that and it's like Adam wrote that for me. Like we should, we should share each other's stories more. So I'm Scott Kate and I would like to do some video blogging but not so much, well, a little bit about me, because I do some interesting things, but also a lot about other people. And so that's what this blog is going to be, interviewing other people and see what we can find out that's fascinating about those people who care to join me around the world. So I think I figured something out. So thanks, Adam. It's like you were writing that for me, and uh, maybe it wasn't, but I'm going to pretend it was. We'll see what happens. Thanks so much.